Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a MySQL server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed MySQL server along with PHP MyAdmin and Apache. So from this product page simply click on continue to subscribe and then you would be brought to this subscription page from where you need to click on accept terms and then wait for the subscription validation process to complete. Now once the subscription validation is done simply click on continue to configuration after which you would be brought to this page from where you can choose the AMI, the software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Once satisfied with the settings, simply click on continue to launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you get two different launch options. You can launch it from this website or from the EC2 management console. So what I like to do is that I like to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Doing this would open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. In this tab, you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name. I'm going to call this one as MySQL and then scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. Scroll down even more and choose the instance type according to your requirements. Then choose a key pair by the creating a new one or by choosing an already existing key pair. Remember that this is the key pair that we would be using to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. And then you can leave the network settings as default. And when satisfied with the settings, simply click on launch instance. After that, you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. And so simply click on view all instances. And then from this list, simply right click on your virtual machine and choose connect. And then from this page, simply go to the RDP client tab. And in this tab, you can see that the public DNS is given, the username is given, but the password is not yet provided. So to get the password, simply click on the button that says get password and you would be brought to this page from where you need to browse to your key pair. Now once you have browsed to your key pair, you can see the contents of your key pair right over here. So simply click on decrypt password and now you would see the password over here. Now to connect to this virtual machine, simply hit windows and type in remote desktop connection and for the computer field, simply copy this public DNS and paste it inside this field. After that, simply click on show options and then copy this username which is administrator and paste it in front of this username and then click on connect and after that it is going to ask you for your password. So copy this password, paste it inside this field and click on OK. Now it is going to prompt you that you are trying to connect to a remote host so click on yes and wait for the connection to be fully established. Once the connection has been established you also need to wait for the Windows Server 2019 to completely load. This image comes with pre-installed MySQL, MySQL Workbench and even PHP MyAdmin to manage your databases. So now if you want to connect to your MySQL using PHP MyAdmin so that you can manage it, then simply click on this desktop icon that says PHP MyAdmin. Now to log into PHP MyAdmin, the username is root and the password is actually this virtual machine's instance ID. The instance ID is written right over here and if you want to copy it, then if you minimize this remote desktop connection, then you can see this instance ID right over here. So click on this icon to copy it, head back inside the remote desktop connection and paste it in front of this password and then hit on go. Doing this would allow you to access PHP MyAdmin from where you can manage your MySQL database. Now imagine that you want to create a new database using PHP MyAdmin. For this, simply go over to the databases tab and then give your database a name. So I'm going to create one with the name demo1. And then you can choose the encoding that you want for your database to have. And once you're satisfied, simply click on create to create this database. And if you want to create a user specific to this database with all the privileges over this database, then simply head over to this privileges tab and then click on add user account. In here, you're going to define the username. So I'm just going to type it as CIS admin and then you can leave the host name as blank and then the password for this username. Then you can go with the authentication of your choice but I am going to go with native MySQL authentication. After that, make sure that this checkbox is ticked which says grant all privileges on database demo1. And then if you want to give this user global privileges then simply click on this button that says check all, scroll down 
and then simply click on this go button to create this user which is specific to the database that we have just created. Now if you want to change the password of the root user for MySQL then simply head over to this tab which says user accounts and then click on root user. After that simply click on this tab which says change password and then in here you can type in your new password. After that you need to retype that password as well and once that is done simply hit go and the password for the root would be changed. Now to verify this exit from phpMyAdmin and try reopening it. This time around if you try to access it with the old password you won't be able to do so. So let's try accessing it with the new one and then hit go and there you go we have successfully logged in into phpMyAdmin. Anyways that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Amazon Web Services and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up MySQL Server running on Windows Server 2019 on AWS. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.